Hey guys, how's it going? I know it's been a while since my last update, but there's a lot of stuff coming up in the next few weeks that I think you guys should know about. Uh, first of all, the guys from Syndigo, Daniel and Ryan, they're actually moving to LA this Monday. So I'm going to be taking some time to help them get oriented with the LA area and move them into their new place. But after that, you should see a lot more sketch comedy stuff coming out on this channel and me helping them with sketch comedy on their channel. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you don't know the Syndigo guys, I've made a ton of sketches with them in the past. Uh, there's a playlist down in the description below, or I'll put an annotation up here, uh, for some of the videos that we've done together. I mean, they're, like, it, it, I can't even describe it. It's so much fun because we've learned for so long. It's been about two years now that we've started working together, and uh, we, we've both learned, or all three of us have learned uh, so much more in making sketch comedy and how it's done and how it should be done, and, and in some ways how it shouldn't be done, but that's even better sometimes. So check it out. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you look forward to more sketch comedy stuff coming out on this channel because I look forward to making it. It's something that's a passion of mine and it was the original reason why I wanted to be on YouTube. Like it's really close to my heart and I hope you guys enjoy what we're going to be making because we're going to be making a lot more. I hope to get like a new sketch out if not every week then every other week. I really want to be putting my whole heart into doing it and not take away from the gaming at all. I'm still going to be releasing two videos a day. It's just that I hope to add on to that sketch comedy and be being on this schedule has actually helped me because I have a bit more free time because I always do the videos ahead of time instead of waiting to the last minute and that means I'm able to do more of what I love. But also, in addition to that, this month I want to do another charity live stream. I'm aiming for the 21st. Now all the money from the previous live streams have now officially been donated and I'm hoping to get confirmation letters to show you guys to be as transparent as possible uh, that all the money that has been raised has been donated to the charities properly. I even went down to PAX South and I met with Able Gamers in person to hand deliver the check uh, that we raised. I believe that was from the pajama live stream. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's hard to get things mixed up. There was the pajama live stream and the sweatshirt live stream for Living Beyond Breast Cancer. And then there was the uh, uh, $10,000 to Cincinnati Children's Hospital and $10,000 to Child's Play uh, that went out. And I'm really happy to be able to do those things and I want to keep doing them. It's just hard with this schedule because uh, March 6th, 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 on March 6th, there's PAX East. And not only am I, Bob, and Wade going, but also Yami Mash is going to be in attendance. Uh, there's D Live and Entuin who join us most of the time. And also, we're really trying to help get Jack there. Like, uh, I'm trying to reach out to people to get him a special guest pass or a media pass or an exhibitor badge so that he can get in and you know we can all hang out together because that's going to be so much fun. I I, I can't wait because Jack is one of my favorite YouTubers. I mean, I don't watch all of his videos, but he's this really really cool guy, uh, and I look forward to meeting him and hanging out with Yami Mash again, of course. Like, I can't wait to meet him again. He's just such a cool guy, and I miss him dearly from the last time I met him in person at PAX East a year ago, which is crazy. Like, that was a year ago. I can't even believe it. Like, uh, if you haven't seen it, we did a video while we were at PAX where we were on these, like, cushiony mats, and we beat each other with these big, okay, this is starting to sound wrong, like one of those Marky Bash fan fictions, but not true. It's really a lot of fun, and I can't wait to go back again, because some of my best memories are from when I'm able to meet and be among my friends again, and it, like, that's really special to me, to be able to do these things, and I, and I sometimes miss it being out all the way in LA when everyone is like, in the UK, or in Ireland, or in Cincinnati, or in North Carolina, and you know, I'm away from my friends and family, but the fact that people are moving here and that I'm able to go out and meet other people out there is really something I'm going to cherish a lot and something that I really, really care about because, like I've told you before, and it's rhetoric at this point, but, you know, YouTube is a passion of mine and I, I love to be able to entertain you guys, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just one guy who's trying to stretch himself as thin as possible all over the world and uh, sometimes, you know, I, I think about what has happened uh, over the course of my life uh, to get me to this point. And I think about the channel and how it's evolved and how we just hit 5 million subscribers like not long ago, and now we're at almost 6 million in such a short amount of time. And it, it, it just, it, it's daunting to think about because I've said it's daunting before when it was like at 100,000 or, or when we hit 1 million I thought it was unreal now we're like rocketing up and we got a million subscribers in like a month or two and it, it, it's it's really 
It's really hard to keep everything in perspective, but I have to try every day to do so because I know from meeting you guys, going out to the events, it's not just me hanging out with my other YouTube friends or real friends in real life. Not that my YouTube friends are my real friends, they are. Uh, but it, I also get to meet you guys. And when I was at PAX South, it, it was amazing because I barely got to spend any time on the show floor, but most of my time was spent just meeting you guys. And it was nonstop, like every second I was there, someone new was coming up to me. And I was so honored that people were saying hi to me. And it was almost overwhelming. Like, I, I never wanted to say that it was going to be too much to meet all of you guys. But to be honest, everywhere I went, a huge crowd of people formed. And I was like, it, it was weird because I was honored, but I was also intimidated by the fact that there were just so many people. Like when I went to PAX Prime last year, I met people in a courtyard and that's where the video with all those people came in and when I walked I, I turned the corner and suddenly like this crowd just erupted in applause and cheers and it was at me and I was like holy crap I just play video games in my room alone and scream <laughs> and this is the result of it like it's it's an intimidating thing but I I'm, I'm truly like honored that you guys would give me this much love and respect and I have to cherish it at all points in my life I have to always understand that I have a responsibility to give you guys like everything that I can and I'm I'm so willing to do it I'm so happy to do it I'm so happy that I have these opportunities and I meant this to be a quick update and god damn it again every single you go back every single vlog I'm like hey this will be a quick update oh I love you guys so much you're like everything to me and and, and I really really mean and I hope you guys don't think it's not true I have something in my eye but but I, I really hope you guys don't think that I've grown numb to any of it because I'm surprised every day. You know, I'm I'm surprised every day at the love and you know respect that comes out of this community and even being of this incredible size. And of course, there are bad eggs here and there, but proportionally, like they are insignificant to like the overwhelming tidal wave of love that comes out of this community every day, and that's. That's why I do it, and that's why I love to do it, and that's why <laughs> I'll never do anything else, because this is the most amazing thing in my life, and I've said that before, I bet, but it's true every time I say it. So anyway, I'll wrap this up. Hopefully you got all the information in between all the blabbering, because that's what I am want to do, but I just wanted to say thank you guys again for supporting me and being there for me and like giving me a reason to keep moving forward. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Check out the stuff that I linked in the description below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!